What's up all you scrappers and metal melting enthusiasts? In today's video, I'm going to be taking the copper out of this electric fan motor that is from an AC condenser unit. Now, most of the time, the inside of these motors have copper, but some of the time it's aluminum that's coated with copper. So let's get right to removing the fan, the piece that the fan is connected to, and start disassembling this motor and seeing if it's copper. Because recently, I cut open one of these and went through all the work to find out that it was aluminum, that was coated with copper. So let's get to the video. In order to remove this back cover, you need to remove four of these nuts off of these studs. Now, in order to do that, you do need to hold the nut on the back side in order to unscrew the nut on the opposite side. And now, just a few little taps. And now we have the copper exposed. Let's see if it's really copper. Well, it looks like copper to me. Let's start taking this apart. So I do have multiple ways of doing this, removing the copper. So I have made a video in the past using a machete to cut this in half. But today I'm going to use a sawzall and cut the one side and then hammer out the other side using an air chisel. So let's get right to that. 
Oh, and if you guys want to see the video on how I used the machete, the link will be in the description below. All right, guys, so I changed my mind. I'm just going to use a hacksaw because I don't have a charged battery for my Sawzall. So let's start cutting this copper off. Oops. Look at that copper, guys. Look at the copper. So let me just uh, put my blade back on the hacksaw and finish cutting shortly. Also guys, it's a good idea to put something down to catch all of the copper shavings. All right, so I think using a hammer and a screwdriver actually worked a lot better than my hammer chisel because my air compressor is not very big and it really didn't work that great. So next time I am definitely going to use a hammer and a screwdriver to remove the copper. So guys, this is what I have. I have a nice heavy chunk of steel. I have two aluminum plates and I have the copper. But lastly, I do have to cut off these strands because these are actually not copper. So I have to follow them down to where they connect to the copper and snip them off. And there we have it guys. Look at all this copper. Stay tuned for my next video where I melt down this copper into a copper ingot.